Want to make millions with machines? You can. Millions of people make millions with machines. One of my first jobs out of school was working with mixers and calendars and embossers and printers and extruders, all these different complex systems linked together to make vinyl wall coverings. That's right, wallpaper, the stuff you love to put up in your bathroom and then uh, a couple years later goes out of style and you gotta chisel it off your bathroom wall. That's what I did. But it taught me a lot about machines and how you can utilize them to make millions. It did seem very complex, but it doesn't have to be. Hi, my name is Dave and on this channel we talk about wealth creation with the idea that we're going to show other people that uh, financial independence can be achieved with the right plan, and the right tools, and maybe the right machines in place. More powerful than the stock market, options, and real estate is the power of the machine. And today I want to show you how you can put simple to complex systems into place to make millions. Stick around. Whoop. I want to start this discussion with something everybody can relate to. Years ago, I went to a fair and I met an ice cream guy. All right. He had customized a truck, right? He built his own machine. I'm not saying go out and build your own machine, but just to understand the concept of what this guy did. He built an ice cream machine. He bought parts off the shelf and he transferred it into a truck and he had all these spigots coming down where he could produce ice cream cones quite quickly. So he pulls up into this fair and he pulls out his equipment and his setup's like five minutes and he's off and running and he starts pumping out ice cream cones on a hot day. And uh, I'm about 20 people deep and I'm watching him do this and I'm mesmerized because I would already kind of put machines to work for myself in my own business. So I was watching him and I was like, wow, what's going on here? And I'm about 20 people deep and in no time I'm 10 people deep and there's a new 10 people behind me, right? And he's just churning out ice cream cones with a couple of helpers. So now I started watching how fast is he actually doing this? And about every 15 seconds, he's turning out a cone, right? And he's probably got about $2.50 of profit in here. Three bucks he's selling them for, 50 cents is probably his expense, right? Because he's got a little bit of a cone, cream and sugar, not a whole lot there. So making $2.50 every cone, four of those a minute, which would be $10 a minute or $600 an hour, pretty darn incredible. Uh, but yeah, you think about this guy over the course of a weekend, if he works 13 hours churning out these cones at that rate, he's making $7,800 or about a quarter of a million dollars a year if he does 32 fares a year. Not too shabby for a side hustle. Hmm. I relay this simple story to impress upon you that opportunity is everywhere when it comes to this thing. It's not a one, two, three, four step-by-step -step process. It's one of those that should open up your eyes to kind of look around and look for opportunity because it's everywhere. So back to my story as far as the wall coverings go, I left that company and I went to work for another company learning some new processes and new machines. And at this company, they extruded acrylic sheet. They would make lighting panels, dome security mirrors, fronts for TV sets, those types of items. But these were all new processes that I was exposed to and new machines that they utilized. So that was the concept. And that's the idea that I want you to leave with today, putting these machines to work for you. So while I was there, I got another call, right? So I'm making connections at this point. And some people reached out and said, hey, we're starting up a new company. We're gonna be doing injection molding. I'm like, ooh, another one. And I was familiar with injection molding, making small plastic parts. Right, so I uh, took the opportunity and I went and joined these guys. And my first job there was packing parts in the middle of the night, making sure the machines were running along. But having the ability to go over there and join that company exposed me to a whole other type of machine and it allowed me to get involved with a new startup company. So at this point, this is way back in the day, what we would do is make little parts for the automotive industry, little clips and fasteners, underhood applications, those types of things. And I love the idea of injection molding. I remember talking to my boss at my previous job and he said, there's no money in injection molding. You can't make money there. It's not a proprietary product. No, it's not, but we're just like the ice cream guy. Everybody loves ice cream. Everybody needs plastic products. I love the saying success leaves clues and a great book for you to read. If you haven't already is the millionaire next door. This is a great book that talks about the painter, right? The landscaper that goes along and has a great process in place. And he repeats this process because success has shown them in the past that it leaves clues and they can copy it. So for us, we're molding parts, right? We're an injection molder. You can find injection molding companies all across the United States. Well, guess what? We've got companies that we're supplying parts to, and we've got suppliers that we're buying products from, and we have this little machine in the middle that's making product for our companies that we're selling to. So now at this point, we're just repeating the same process. Success leaves clues. So now we're going to add 
another injection molding machine. We're going to add other types of machines, right, to decrease labor, to streamline the process, to add value to the operations. Making millions with machines does not happen overnight. It's consistent pressure over a long period of time, just like investing as you close, slowly climb up that mountainside. That's how it is with machines, too. You get that first one in place, whatever type of machine you're utilizing. It could be anything. Again, it could be your lawnmower, or it could be your injection molding equipment, or your extruder, or your baking oven. Whatever it might be, it starts with that single step. So over time, and I'll show you some videos now, we've done all kinds of things to uh, decrease labor and streamline our processes, right? So everything from conveyors to loading equipment, to automated boxing systems for packaging up parts. Uh, we do ultrasonic welding, automated assembly machines. We have robots for handling parts. We bring all this together now with the idea that as we add machines, we're going to decrease that labor, we're going to streamline the process, and we're adding value to the operations. So ours has become pretty complex now, but it started with that single injection molding machine. It doesn't have to be injection molding either. It can be a lawnmower. It can be your paintbrush. You just have to put something into place. And uh, I'll link my video above too about uh, uh, starting up a business because Getting your business started up early and looking for opportunities like this is where you're going to make your millions. You might be thinking, well, this is all well and good, Dave, but how do I get started in such a thing? Well, if it's something simple like mowing lawns, then you go out and you go, right? You knock on the door. Hey, I've got my new machine back here. I'd love to mow your lawn. Now, if it's something more complicated like injection molding or metal stamping or any of the other hundreds of service industries out there that do these types of things that make parts, right? Because I don't see what we do as much more than the ice cream man. I'm putting something in the middle. I've got raw material, I put it in, I have my final product and I sell it. So you just have to look for opportunities. You have to uh, approach people. If it was injection molding right now and you went out and you knocked on a bunch of doors, I guarantee you right now, people need molders. People need metal stampers. People need people that are out there able to put a machine to work and supply parts. So it's more about going out and spending the time and actually applying yourself to start up this new business. And if you do so, it's gonna be a beautiful thing. So hopefully you're jazzed up and you're ready and you've got a concept, an idea that you wanna start running with right now. But if you don't, don't worry about it. Just keep looking around, come up with some ideas. For me, this is the thing that's probably made me more money in my life than anything else. So I just wanted to kind of expose you to it, start thinking about it, and then you can start trying to come up with the idea that you might want to do. So I want to show you some calculators too that you probably should understand. So you understand the flow of the money now that you've got your idea. Because it's not like instant millions, but it could be down the road. So once you have your great idea in place and the type of machine that you want, or you get a concept that you really want to test out, one of the very first things that we do internally would be to look at a return on investment for any piece of equipment that we're buying. Putting a new machine in place, we're going to go, we're going to calculate our ROI. So there's plenty of great ROI calculators in there. And this one I like a lot because it has a nice little read through so you can understand it really clearly. But the idea is how long will it take me to return my initial investment? And then how much is that return going to give me back? So return on investment is great. And then also just simple payment calculators are also great. So you can kind of see if I put in $100,000 and I put down $20,000, how much that will return me. And this does remind me that when you were talking about payment calculators and amortization charts and things like that, I did a video not too long ago about why you should not pay off your mortgage. And this is a concept that you should start thinking about if you're actually thinking about putting a machine to work for you. Because when you are looking at machinery, you're going to be paying a higher interest rate. You know, for example, let's say you, you know, want to have take out a hundred thousand dollar loan. You know, you're going to be paying quite a bit more even if it's a shorter rate here of five years, let's say for a new piece of machinery, your interest rate off the top of my head is going to be something plus LIBOR, right? Interest rate plus LIBOR. And I think they changed that recently to something else, whatever the wacky name is they're calling it this week. But your mortgage at home is going to be 3% bottom line, right? Or better probably. And then your interest rate on a piece of machinery that you're going to buy for a company or a business that you're starting up is going to be much higher. So you want to spend that money on this side because 4.75% is greater than 3%. So something to keep in mind, and one of the reasons that I say don't pay off your mortgage early, especially if you're investing in the long term or growing a business or looking for other places to put it, 3% is so cheap, historically cheap, just ignore it.
One thing I enjoy is when I see all these videos about side hustles. You want to hear about a good side hustle? Go approach any injection molding company like ours. Say, I would like to assemble parts for you. And you know what you're going to find? You're going to find they can sit on your couch, put some little parts together, and make a good side hustle. That's just something I'm throwing out there. If you're ever looking for ideas of how to make money, you have a 10 or 12 year old that's really wanting to you know, make a little bit of side money, send mom over to the local injection molding company. They are everywhere and say, I'm here. Can I take some of this stuff home and assemble it for you? And I guarantee you probably nine out of 10 times, you're going to have a nice little at home business. So that's it. That's the basic concept of how you can make millions with machines. And if you fly up through this video and you're like, oh, this is crazy. Believe me, millions of people have done this making millions of dollars. This is the best investment of my entire life. I will never have one any better. And people seldom talk about it. They talk about all these other smoke and mirrors, but what it is, it's putting a simple machine to work for you. So if you have questions about any of this, please just ask down below. Otherwise, please consider to like and subscribe to the channel for any future content that we would have coming out about these types of concepts or anything else that we like to talk about here on this channel. Really appreciate you watching. Have a great day. See ya. Whoop.